Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson here on the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about Helium 10's new updated X-ray extension. They've added some really cool features that we are going to be covering in today's video. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in watching, be sure to stick around to the end, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so really random product here, salmon floats, AKA bobbers, AKA float fishing, AKA world champion, PNW salmon fisherman. Um, this is pretty random, doesn't have a ton of sales, but it's just something I was actually looking at. So whatever, we're gonna use this as the example. If you come search any product in Helium 10, this will work. And we're going to come up here and we're gonna click on X-ray. Now I haven't actually looked up like any release information about this. This is just something that I knew was coming out. I didn't know exactly what they were doing. And now that I see it here, um, these are the features I instantly notice. So I will post in the comments after the fact if I miss anything, but check this out. I mean, this is this was updated a little while ago, the run and cerebro thing. You guys aren't aware of that. That's not part of this update, but let me just show you that really quick because some of you might've missed that. You can actually select certain um, ASINs that are related. Look at the image. Okay, that's right, that's right, that's right. Now let's go see, you know, what those are ranking for in Cerebro. So we can just quickly hit run in Cerebro. I've never covered that feature. So I'm just gonna throw that into this video as well. You can see it'll pull you right into the keyword research Cerebro section, run those ASINs. It'll give you a list of keywords down below. And then maybe we could use something like their advanced rank filter to sort out all of the keywords that these three ASINs or two out of these three ASINs are ranking for organically. And if we wanted to do that, it would look a little something like this. We'd come down to advanced filters. We'd go, okay, show me at least two ASINs that are ranking in the top 10 positions, match type organic, apply. And then now we go from 1300 keywords to one keyword and that's just steelhead float fishing. Uh, if we wanted to pull that back, we could go two in the top 30. We'd get more keywords obviously, cause you have a less harsh threshold. Now we're going up to eight to have steelhead floats, salmon bobber floats, right? We have all these other ones that have a couple hundred searches. Let's get back to the main topic of today's video. Check this out, source on Alibaba. What this is gonna do from my understanding, again, I just started experimenting with this tool, but I think this is really exciting. So right off the bat, I think it's gonna search salmon floats on Alibaba and populate results for you right onto the screen. We could hit load more, it'll show us more of the results on Alibaba. Now I'm imagining if we actually went and searched this on uh, Alibaba, these were the results we would get. See, we're looking more so at something like that, and we get some criteria to sort this by. This is what's more exciting for me. So say we, we don't wanna see anything with a price maybe over $3, right? Because these should be cents a piece. It shouldn't be anything more than that. Um, maybe we don't wanna see anything with a minimum of like one cent that's just ridiculously low and that's probably inaccurate. Maybe we want an MOQ of something like, we'll leave it blank for now. So you wanted a maximum MOQ, or there wouldn't be a maximum, but a minimum of like 100. That way you're not getting caught up with suppliers that won't work with you if you have more, even though most of the time that's negotiable. Um, we'll, we'll just set that to something like 1,000. It's a really cheap product, who cares? Um, we'll go to vendor rating, and why don't we say a minimum of like four stars for the vendor? Um, now we can hit apply here, and check this out. We're gonna get results for this product based on what we just did. So if it's too narrow, if everything that you put in, maybe the MOQ is messing things up, maybe the minimum is messing things up, and we re-hit apply, you'll get different results based on that. So again, here we see that popular one, four and a half star rating. We have a price under $3. We can now click on this. It's gonna bring us straight to Alibaba. It'll bring us straight to this listing. Really quick and effective way to find uh, what we're looking for here. If we come back here, we have a set of advanced rank filters. So now we could sort by supplier country, vendor type, age of the account. So we could go China, right? United States, I doubt there's gonna be any. Uh, that'd be really interesting if there was. There's two products, they're not relevant though. Back to China, that's the one I'm gonna be using most of the time. Really like this one, manufacturer trading company or manufacturer and trading company. Manufacturer builds their own products from raw materials. A trading company basically wholesales other companies' products, um, and a manufacturer slash trading company is gonna be a mixture of both. They can produce and customize products, and they're also gonna be wholesaling products that they didn't necessarily create. Um, age of the account, we'll see a lot of these accounts are three years, two years, um, maybe a minimum of one plus years, right? So nothing under a year. If we went ahead and did this, and we wanna see manufacturers and trading companies in China, uh, with a minimum price or maximum price of $3 with a vendor rating minimum of $4. 
here we go. Now we have all these. Now maybe we don't see exactly what we're looking for right here, but if we know they're ranked in this category, we could then go to this company's profile. We could click right here. They're a fishing storefront. And then maybe we search float, or maybe if that doesn't work, we search bobber, right? So we can come in here, we could go search bobber. And this supplier doesn't happen to have anything. Just off that quick search, they might have something further in there. Um, but either way, you're getting a list of the top um, suppliers just right natively within this tool. I think that's a really cool integration that they've done there. And let me know down in the comments what you think of this. Give it a shot. Come back and comment on this video. What do you think? You think it's actually working out for you? Um, I like it. I personally like anything that's going to make my job a little easier, especially if I don't have to have a bunch of other tabs open. I don't have to go manually looking for things. And I could just go literally click on this product, source on Alibaba. You don't have to click on the product, but source on Alibaba, go quickly find it a quick estimate for this. Something I think this will be really interesting for is just when we're putting in our profitability calculator quotes, you really quickly just want to get a quick idea of, it's kind of redundant. You want to get an idea of what the price of this product's going to be. Okay, they're selling four packs and they're about 30 cents a piece. Great, they're about $1.20. We just got that looking at that. Now what that allows me to do is I could actually go click into this specific seller. I could go to my profitability calculator and then once I go into my profitability calculator after after this loads, I have like 450 meg downloader in it. Come on now, um, get rid of this. And it's about a dollar twenty, and then we have to ship it too. So maybe we'll actually leave that in there. About ten cents. Yeah, these are really cheap, really small, um, really light. Now we know based on that quick estimate, we have about 50% margin. That was really loose and. Um, the suppliers will often upsell you from what they initially put in there. So let's factor that in and let's say it's about $2.10, so 45% margin. So I just wanted to cover this because I think it's really interesting. There is a link down below for Helium 10. You guys probably know that by now. Um, you can get a discount code if you use my affiliate link. Um, and I get a little kickback as well. So I appreciate you using that. If you don't want to use it, that's all right as well. Just wanted to cover this because I think it's cool. And I it's my channel, so I cover what I think is cool. Um, I will see you in the next video, whenever that may be. Um, but until then, have a great rest of your week and I'll see you next time. Later.